everyone, welcome back to Blueprint DIY Kids. So last week we introduced you to Gracie and you found out her story and why her hair is falling out. If you didn't see that video, you should definitely check it out. It has a really great message. But today I'm gonna show you how I took a regular size wig and made it into a removable wig for Gracie. And this is not just for 18 inch dolls. This same method could pretty much be used for any baby doll. This is the straight wig with bangs that you saw in last week's video. In this video, I'm going to use an old curly lace front wig. So if you know anyone with old wigs, this project is definitely for you. I think this one is going to look pretty on her. So let's get started. For this project, you need some pins, a seam ripper, one quarter inch elastic, a needle and thread, and scissors. Okay, first I'm going to put the wig on Gracie and pull it snug to the back. I will add a couple of pins to the back so that I know how much to cut away. Now I'll take the wig off and start cutting across from one pin to the other and then remove the excess. Next I use my seam ripper to remove the little wig clips. Okay, now I'll turn the wig inside out and put it back on Gracie. You can see that there is still a big extra poofy part here so we need to cut away some more. So while holding the wig on, pull the middle back of the wig down towards the nape of the doll's neck. Where the wig meets the nape of the neck is where I want to start cutting. Then I'll cut gradually down towards each side and pull the excess away. Okay, now it's time for elastic. We'll sew the end of the elastic down to the crown or the front middle part of the wig. With the wig still inside out, I put it back on Gracie and stretch the elastic down to the first ear and secure it with a pin. Then I can pull it snugly all the way around the edge of the wig back up to the beginning, securing it with pins as needed. Now I'll take my needle and thread and sew down the elastic to the inside of the wig. I will sew down one side of the elastic all the way around and then sew down the other side. This will really help the elastic to stay in place. When I get back to the front, I sew the edge of the elastic down and cut off the excess elastic. Quick tip, a lot of wigs only have ribbon lace in the back to hold the tracks. Make sure you sew the elastic securely to each one along the way. Okay, now I'll remove the wig and turn it right side out. I'll put it back on Gracie so that I can check the fit and cut away any excess pieces, especially around the ears. Okay, with a little snip snip here and there, this wig is ready for styling. I thought it would be really cute with a bun up top. Or maybe just one side pulled over and a colorful clip in braid. No matter which way I style it, it's a big hit with my daughter and the elastic makes it really secure. We did a hair whip test and everything stayed on. So no matter whether curly or straight, a removable wig is a great option for dolls. And it's eco-friendly too, because these wigs were saved from the landfill. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any suggestions on how to further slay these wigs, please leave them in the comments below. See you soon. Bye. Oh, your hair is so pretty. And I want to stay that way. Stay back. What do you mean? We don't want to catch the hair fallout, so stay back. 